Hello YouTube, this is my queen Fly back with another video, back with another message. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys for all of the support, all of the likes, comments, shares, subscribes. Everything is greatly appreciated. I'm just going to hop right into this, see what comes out here. We got worry and change. <laughs> Worrying won't change the situation here. Somebody needed to hear that. Let me get a prayer in. Most high loving ancestors are my highest good, my highest light, my highest frequency. Please help me to channel these messages clear and concise with truth and clarity. Please block any and all negative interference during this message. Please return to sender tenfold. Thank you. <clears throat> Somebody could be worried that they feel like you've changed. Take it high, resonate. But that's not something you should worry about. <laughs> Worrying about that won't change anything for you or that person. So take it high, resonate. <clears throat> indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life here. So it's somebody, it's somebody that's indecisive right now. Or them them being indecisive is their decision here not to use their intuition. <laughs> and that could be the person or people that's worrying now. They feel like you've changed here. But you use your intuition in all aspects of life here. Yeah, freedom with empathy. Your hard work is paying off. Luck is on your side. Work through your fears. That's what you did here. To obtain this happiness here. This freedom card says, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. <laughs> I just showed y'all happiness and here it go. <clears throat> it's like, it's like somebody... It's like somebody doesn't know if they want to be free or not. Because they're so worried about change. So somebody is stuck in their ways. This could be you. This could be somebody else. Take it how it resonates. Empathy card says, I am open to seeing both sides of a of a situation here. Yeah, chariot, star, and the six of wands. <clears throat> you wanted to be free here. And while somebody was trying to figure out if they wanted to be stuck in the past, you you took a leap of faith here. That's why they're worried. Because this is going to come no matter what. Chariot, the star, and the six of wands. This is coming regardless. So, and for some of you, it's a relationship or a partnership here. So while people was trying to figure out what type of life they wanted to live. Or if they wanted to live right and not make a choice here. You you did it. Judgment. You freed yourself. For some of you, this is you or was you. Being indecisive. Not knowing if success was going to come. But that's that full energy. That's you taking that leap. 
that's you realizing that worrying is not going to change the situation here or change people for that matter. Because when it comes down to it, everybody is worried about their own happiness, right? And, 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 and what makes them happy and what they want to do, what makes them successful, okay? And you realize that whatever type of life these people was living, that wasn't for you. And here go the worry and the change again with fear. This chariot here. For some of you, it could have been somebody that exposed you. And when I say exposed, like you see the star card, they could have actually like put something online or publicly here. Thief. Could be an older man with a mature man right here. House, child. Somebody is going to get caught up for um, some kind of child pornography. <clears throat> or doing this when you were young. I don't know who that was for. Somebody got a kick out of that too. But now they in fear. <clears throat> somebody wasn't able to somebody, somebody wasn't able to use what happened to you as a child here or something revolving your child, because I definitely saw the six of cups. It's something in your childhood here that somebody thought they was gonna be able to use against you to keep you stuck, to keep you indecisive here. But you use that. You use that to make you a victor here. And they're just being seen as a thief. <clears throat> What's this chariot? It's like whatever people... It's like whatever people, yeah, false person, NFL right on the chariot. Whatever people used um, to like align you with being stuck or being publicly humiliated, it's like that's what's happening for them. They're, they're in alignment here. again at the top of the deck we got a gift with the star what's the star energy here <clears throat> you used it as a gift you used it as a tool that's this empathy i am open to seeing both sides of a situation here yeah we got family room with the star This could have been something that happened in a home or in your home. And it's like whatever whatever somebody tried to use against you to make you look like you were a false person here, it probably had you in your head with this indecision. You probably didn't know how to how how you you probably didn't know how you were going to conquer whatever these people tried to expose you. Or being a false person here. Because while people were trying to expose you or publicly humiliate you, it's like that's what they're in alignment with here. 
and it's all because of you. See, you didn't, you, you, you probably didn't like what people were doing or what they were putting online or how they were making you feel. Take it how it resonates. But you use that <laughs> to your advantage here. Because them doing that, them trying to expose you as some kind of false person, it's only putting them in alignment for them to be publicly humiliated about the secrets that they have here. <clears throat> Somebody could have even got, um, like, paid. If somebody put you out online, like, this could be sex tape. If somebody tried to put you online and they got paid for it, that shit is going to come out. And something is going to be coming out about whoever did that. So, it could be somebody likes to wear women clothes somebody likes to wear wigs somebody likes to be uh especially if this is a man who did this their sexuality is about to be outed for who they really are <clears throat> that could be the worry and the fear but somebody exposing exposing you right or feeling like they was exposing you they got a kick out of that the tables have turned with that change card. The tables have turned. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. You took that leap. <laughs> you got behind the wheel of this chariot here and you made the shit work for you. six of wands here and little little does somebody know or understand that them being outed that's a way for them to be free here with this freedom <clears throat> somebody fears being outed but if they were okay with outing you or trying to expose you or even lie on you here and you made that work for you <laughs> And like I said, somebody doesn't understand that them trying to lie on you or expose you. This could be your family too. They don't even understand that they have put themselves in alignment to be free. <laughs> okay. Because they thought they had control over you or what could happen for you or how your outcome was going to be here. But they don't. You were chosen for something here. What's this six of wands? You could have been the, the, the black sheep of the family here. What's this six of wands? <clears throat> People could have thought because you didn't act the way that they did or uh, like do certain things that they did here that you weren't of them. And you weren't. Like, you were really made to stand out here. And a lot of you are okay with the things or the decisions or the decisions that you did not make. You're okay with that. Because it helped you conquer something. It helped you move forward. It helped you, it helped you to accept how different you are with this false person here. It helped you to accept that. And these people are in alignment now with their, they're going to be free <laughs> of their skeletons, of their secrets here. What's this six of wands? That's why you can't fucking play with people. Just because people don't act the way you do or think the way that you do, this is not, that's not an okay for you to try to expose them. Especially if you're fucking lying. What's this six of wands here? <clears throat> I 
Like, you understand why people did it here. You were open to seeing why somebody did something that doesn't make it okay. But you also understand that that's your, your win here. That's you being successful. Six of Wands star with the chariot. While they're going to be looking like the false people here. Because of how they treat family. Somebody could even be having a discussion here. <clears throat> What's this Six of Wands here? Something could have been put in somebody's tea. Somebody could have been drugged here. We got the mature man with the six of wands here. Somebody could have drugged you and put you, like recorded you without you knowing. And they're getting caught up. They're about to be exposed here. this false person here <clears throat> thank you thief with pathway here it could have been somebody following you here with this chariot they could have been following you here somebody could have even been um asked to to, to expose you in some kind of way here. And they were indecisive about it. They probably didn't know what to do here. Somebody, if somebody was following you, they know you know something about them. And this is probably why they were following you or trying to keep tabs on you here. For some of you, it could have been a woman here. Could have been a family member that was trying to set you up here. What's this family room? What's this family room? Somebody could have even got a car in your name. Change with the toil and labor with the family room. Hold on, y'all. Let me put my charger in. Imprisonment right here. Just be grateful that you did make the decision to take a leap here. Because if this was people or somebody that was watching you, trying to keep tabs on you, they were being watched. They were being watched. And it was somebody or a group of people that said, yeah, this person did A, B, C, and D. But they never see you with this person. They never see you around. Like, if they're checking phone records, they don't even have, like, a record of you even communicating any kind of way. Through text, email, nothing. Not even online. And people did nothing but make something harder for themselves trying to expose you or trying to lie on you or even make you look like a thief here. <clears throat> Somebody could have got a car in your name. What's this mature man here?
It could have even been some kind of mail that went to an old address. What's this mature man? But again, like I said, if these was people that was watching you, they did not even know that they were being watched. What's this mature man here? And they did nothing but put themselves in alignment to get caught up. We got sudden wealth here. I mentioned earlier, if somebody put you online or something like that, they got paid off of it. Bad health, privileged lady, courthouse, poverty, marriage, despair. <laughs> it was somebody that could have been a family member here that <clears throat> left the neighborhood because they were outed as a thief here. And it could have been that every time somebody saw them while outside, they got humiliated. Somebody could have even set up their partner here so if this was if this was family members or friends, because I saw the six of cups, if these was friends and family that <clears throat> were used to setting up like their own family and friends and then getting away with it and they tried it with you, they lost. That's that worry. That fear. That something is changing for them. And I mentioned yesterday, whatever these people were doing, it was they were getting a kick out of it. Only when it came to you. They fear this shit now. Because they know that change is coming. <laughs> or change is here. The judgment is out here. They weren't able to do that to you. They weren't able to use your uh, weaknesses against you here, your vulnerabilities against you here, and you made it work for you. Because you were open to seeing or understanding why they did what they did, but also knowing that you are not of them. <clears throat> Regardless if y'all the same blood or not, you are not like these people. And these are the type of people that don't like others that are different you always was different here this is why they try so hard to to get you to change to change pathways to change your journey here because they wanted you to be like them they wanted you to be a false person with the thief here and you said no you would rather work hard to 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 get to your success here you didn't want to take the easy road. <laughs> this is another thing. <clears throat> These people thought they were taking the easy way out. For some of you, these people could have felt like you were making things harder for yourself. But this empathy here, you had an eye for something. Or a feeling of something here with this empathy. And you knew that whatever these people was doing or the life they was living was not right. And you chose to go in the opposite direction. Good job. <clears throat> Good job. It could have been a family group that tried to get a masculine to go against you here. Or they could have done this already. <clears throat> they they could have had some kind of um, epiphany about the decision that they made or... 
the decision that they did not make, you got to take it how it resonates. But this masculine or woman, take it how it resonates, they realize whatever choice they made, even if they did not make one, they see that it's made something in their life harder. Harder to obtain. It's like, it's like if these people was doing you wrong, it was like they wanted you to lead them. I just talked about this. They wanted you to lead them to, to success here, to a victory. But they have to go through the process, you see? You trusted the process here. You, you understood your assignment without you really understanding everything that was happening on the way. <laughs> These people did not want to accept that there was a process that they had to go through. They have to be humiliated. They have to be publicly outed. They have to be seen as a false person. But this is their truth. And the only way to get to the end, the only way to be victorious, the only way to be free is to be seen, right? <laughs> okay. They want to hide, though, with the false person. They want to hide. You can't hide. They're not going to like this change here. And they worrying. They fearing that. Because they know they got a lot, of, a lot of fucking secrets. A lot of skeletons that's being hidden. And that's what they fear the most. But that's going to be their karma. <clears throat> yeah, thoughts with the fear. Look. Thoughts, fear, wait, coughing. That's what they fear. You didn't let that bother you, though. And maybe at one point you did. Why would this person do this? Why would they say that? You didn't like the fact that people was looking at you weird. <laughs> walking down the street. You didn't like the fact that people were, were looking at you like you were a thief or you were a fake or a fraud. But it was because people was lying on you. It wasn't your truth. It's just that you were different. And these people did not know how to accept you. Because they don't know how to accept themselves. People try to make shit harder for you. You really make it look easy. That's another thing they fear. Damn, we done did all of this. We done said all this. We done made them feel this kind of way. And they still are being noticed. Well, yeah. Because you playing with somebody's fucking energy. Don't nobody have time for that. That's why you're not supposed to do this kind of shit to people. Especially happy people. Because let somebody take their fucking happiness. They ready to go all the fuck out. Do unto others as you, as you have them do unto you. You didn't do that, though. You really did not fight fire with fire here. You just hold that shit with this empathy. That was your emotions here. You accepted. You went through it. Damn, maybe I was a false person because I was dealing with these people. It's something in myself that I need to change here. They don't know how to do that. They just make people feel bad for being who they are. And now they get ready to feel bad. <laughs> they not going to like this shit. You're a fucking empress here. Somebody was trying to make you feel bad for not having the, the clearest skin or the longest hair or the, or the biggest butt or the biggest boobs. Like, 
people look at life in the wrong way here and think that they're going to win. That's not how you win. We got the temperance here. Empress with the temperance energy. Okay. You transmuted it. You alchemized it. This empathy card says, I am open to seeing both sides of a situation here. <clears throat> now the devil all hurt. Nine of wands with the, with the devil energy. Now they feelings is hurt. Their ego is killed. Everything that they fought for is, is null and void. <laughs> they did all of this for what? Temperance with the star empress out here. Like you were really made to, to, to stand out and not to fit in. And people trying to out you, people trying to expose you, people lying on you. That did nothing but show others who they are. And they're about to be publicly humiliated. And they fear it. What this empress, what's this empress in the temperance here? You knew that something had to change in a family dynamic, in a friend group. However, you knew that something had to change. You could have even made a promise to the Most High that you were going to be the one to make this change here. So if these was people that was, that was trying to clown you or make you feel bad, it's like they're really going to be giving you respect now. That's for some of you. And that's for some of these people, because all of these people is not going to give you the respect that you deserve here. Because they don't like the fact that you ended some kind of uh, cycle here. Or some kind of path. Judgment, again, with the Ace of Swords. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> These people have a, uh, I just heard an ice box. See, this looks like a ice glacier, right? But then we got this, this, this cross or like this healing symbol. They need to heal their heart and hearts here. People try to make your heart hard, but you're full of love. You're full of empathy here. You're full of truth here. And it's causing a tower. It's causing a tower. But the tower is for these people, they can now be free. <laughs> no, it probably didn't come in the way that they expected it. But that's the thing with change. Change, it happens abruptly. <laughs> it, it, it shit changes, you know, when you least expect it. Tower with the judgment, when you least expect it, that shit is going to change. You accepted that though. You accepted that you were different. You accepted that the life that people was living that you were around was not the life that you wanted to live. You accepted that. It was hard because of, of, for a lot of you, this is family here. And it was hard. And you love with everything in you. With the Empress, you love with everything in you. People feel like they know the, the decisions or why you made the decisions that you did, but they have no fucking idea. Because they don't even want to attempt to change. <laughs> but it's going to happen, period. It's going to happen anyway. By force. These people don't even understand when they start to speak their truth here, 
it's really going to be liberating justice. It's going to be liberating. Because the, the scales always have to be balanced, right? That's this temperance energy too, balance. You tried to bring peace and harmony into these people's lives. Into teaching them a better way. But it's like you can really lead the horse to water, but you can't make that motherfucker drink. These people feel like you're fucking poison, but they're the poison. Your energy really like fucks these people up though. <laughs> it really fucks them up. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles with the Tower here, Eight of Swords. Somebody's going to have to give something up, give something back here. <clears throat> For some of you, you're you're creating your own uh, legacy here, and it's really people in your family that's not going to be able to go. Yeah, Eight of Cups. You really need to just walk away from these people and move forward here, because <laughs> it's like damn. You know, do unto others as you have them do unto you. These motherfuckers then walked away and became successful. That Well, that's what the fuck you're getting ready to do. It's only fair. It's only fair. People did what, what made them happy. And you're doing that. And people don't like that. They're worried. They fear that. But they be all right. You've accepted your flaws. And you took that and you made something great here. What's this? Um, what's this eight of cups with the chariot? These people, if these people feared you, they could be fearing you now because of this change that's, that's coming. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, the Hierophant, Ace of Pentacles. It's going to be some family members that's going to have to expose them getting paid for being a part of a betrayal regarding you here. And that's going to make them free. Like, you're free already. These people are stuck or, or in a bondage. They're in a bond. Somebody's name could be Nate. What's this Eight of Cups with the chariot here? These people are really in a bind now. But this is why you don't do good people wrong here. Yeah, I said they, they're in a bind. They're in a bind. They wanted you to be in your in your south node, in your lower vibration here. But the chariot is out here twice. Somebody thought that they could really walk in your shoes here. And they realized they do not have the fucking capacity to do not such a thing. They have no idea what it is to walk in your fucking shoes here. But want to lie on you. But want to steal from you. But want to get paid off of, off of betraying you here. And because the shit, you took it and you alchemized it, that's why they feel like this shit is easy for you. This shit ain't easy for you to toy on labor out here. 
It was never made easy for you. But everybody was cool when they was getting a kick out of that shit. What's this eight of cups with the chariot here? Some people fear your gifts too. With the thoughts, with the coffin, you could communicate with the dead and they fear that. Especially if this was people that was setting up their own family and their own friends here. They fear, they fear you. That's why they fear you. <laughs> That's why they didn't want you to, to, to take a leap. You got to safety anyway. What's this eight of cups with the chariot? Ten of cups. You're going to more partnerships that are that are more um that feel better for you. Like when you was around these people, you could have always been tense. Because it was just something about these people's energy that just was not right. You knew it was something different about yourself. And you had to go figure out what it was here. And you're about to come across your soul family here with this Ten of Cups. High Priestess. The world with the death card. Okay. I just said your gifts here. Thoughts with the coffin. Then we got high priestess with the death here. Six of pentacles. Everything is fine. Three of pentacles. It's like people are going to feel... They're going to feel like they're going to empathize with you here. Because it's a lot of people around the world that have these kind of gifts and people don't. It's like people judge what they don't know or don't understand. And that's their fault. That's not yours. And this is another thing or another reason why these people fear you now because they tried to get you caught up in this life here. That Ten of Swords people was really trying to take you up out of here. Your own family. And they did not succeed. But with those that they did, they communicate through you here. You're going to be speaking something in the courts about deaths here. And people wanted a, a, a nicer fucking role in your book or, or in your life here. They would have treated you fucking better. But these people never thought that indecision, that being indecisive. Nah, they, ain't, they not going to win. There's too many of us. We have the success. They have to be around us. And you said, no, the fuck I don't. And you meant that shit. No, you don't. You didn't need a group of people to make you successful. But guess what the irony is? This group of people, they helped you make, help, help you be successful. Tell them thank you. See, these some ungrateful motherfuckers. See, you be thankful to them and they still like, that's not enough. <laughs> even though they done lied on you, even though they done put your name and shit, even though they tried to expose you online. You just saying thankful or saying thank you is not enough. And that's their problem. Because these people are never fucking satisfied. 
and they're going to be outed. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of this deck here. This is like, these people had like a once in a lifetime opportunity to have you in their life and they fucked it up and they'll never get this chance again. To be fair, not for you. Oh, wow. I was looking for the not for you card again, but on the bottom is the fates. Okay. It's like people, you know, we, we can't help who our family is, right? We can't help like the family that we're born into. But the star is out here twice. The star with the fates is that like you were really made to stand out, to be different here. Tick tock, serendipity, deep knowing. Yeah, these people know this time is over here. Their luck has ran out. And they know it. And now with this no place like home where peace is like they're not going to have it anymore. They're not going to have it no more when you're long gone. But some of you, this is already going on right now. And this is just like the finishing touches. You speaking some kind of truth. This is like the finishing touch for something to end here. And they really going to miss you when you're gone. No place like home with the peace here. But this was faded. Because these people there, these people really didn't want peace in their life. They talked that shit. I mean, these is motherfuckers that be lying all the time. So, you know, they, they good for talking. <laughs> they didn't really want it. Because they would have been living their life right. Trying to say what you not doing right or how you not making the right fucking choices. That's their problem. Like I said, some of you, you're, you're creating your own bloodline, your own legacy. Fuck these people. They wanted to get caught up in these motherfuckers and, and get paid for, for tennisors and shit like that. Fuck them. Fuck them. They wanted to keep secrets from you. Fuck them. That's why they feel like you're a problem anyway, because you're too authentic. These people are real frauds. They're real thieves. They're real clowns. You got family members that's caught up in killing their own friends here. And you're the one that can communicate with the dead. They in for a rude fucking awakening. That's why they trying to get in your fucking good graces. Look, Minden, Unfinished Symphony. Hold on a second, but can't we talk about this? Talk about what? <laughs> These motherfuckers done enough talking. It's time to show and prove, right? Okay. What's this unfinished symphony with this mending? And I'm going to close it out. Co-create. Milk and honey. Why? Ooh, wee. How was they still able to create a, 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 a peaceful and wonderful and, 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 um, Fruitful life. Because they mind they fucking business. They don't have time for frauds. 
They don't have time for people that's going to use their kindness as a fucking weakness. When they're the weakest of all. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, they feeling that pressure. Come to the edge, they feeling that pressure. They feel like you got to leg up. No, you just, you just know who you are and you know what you want out of life. And it's not to live a life of deceit, of killing, of destroying lives. It's to bring it together. And this is how these people will try to use like what you do against you. Well, if you're supposed to be of the light, why aren't you helping us? Because you got to help your fucking self first. That's why. Don't nobody want to talk about that, though. They want to talk about the motherfucking handouts. They still want a fucking handout. And you over that. So, guys, that is the end of the message. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.